Hello everyone, welcome to Python learning series for network engineers. This is the fourth video on how to automate device provisioning in ENG using Python request. In the first video we have seen how to provision a device using template. In the second video we have seen how to delete an instance. Here this was the script which we have written in the first video to initiate API connection and here we have seen how to delete an instance in the second video and in the third we have seen how to connect interface and start the instance now in the second video i have explained about telnet port we can see here a bottom left side the port number of each device 32778 779 and 777 these are the direct port numbers of the device and to access that port number we can just directly tell it to the ENG three two triple seven and I can directly tell it to the device so for that we need to identify the port number there is an API in ENG for getting that So let us go to postman and to get the node details this is the api first i need to log in and then if i hit this api i can get individual device id and its port number 32769 and the device 9 is having 32777 and 778 11 is having 779 so to get this we can go and hit this particular API from our python script so let us start writing it This is going to be a formatted string. And then nodes equals request dot get URL equal to the URL variable, then headers is headers and cookies yeah now we will try printing the data what we are receiving here notes dot json and we can comment this entire part and try running the script once because if we run this script again this will try to create the devices but at this stage we are just trying to get the port details so i will give a shift tab here let us try running it Simply I'll give a number because it is okay. I'm not printing it. Print data. Yeah. So here we are getting the entire instance details. And here the structure you can see. you want to get it in a proper format even from yeah 
can do a p print here so we are getting the entire data this just formats the data that's all and entire data is inside this key called data so what we can do is the nodes data is there so node dictionary equals data the above data this variable and inside that data now we'll be getting the the entire device details here in node data and then to get the port okay let us try running it again this is not taking effect actually so this i'm just randomly giving one number now it is just hitting this api and getting the node details it is not trying to spin up any device we'll do a print of okay we'll take one output here and we will take nine inside this instance id we can see there is something called url the telnet port is located inside that so we need to fetch this part now to take that what we can do is port details you can even write a single line of code to get all these data but i'm just splitting this for understanding this better so i'm just creating another variable port details and now the node dictionaries and inside that we can have a formatted string and there will give the device id and here now we don't have any device id so we'll give a number now we'll give number 10 and yeah this device is device 9 we'll try giving this device itself device 9 and then you are we will print port details Port details it is printing here. We can delete this one now. Now we need to take only this port number out. There are multiple methods. We can even use regex pattern to take this data out. So what we can do is I'll copy this, put it into regex one out one, and I'll select Python. put it here and we can start writing a pattern telnet dot plus and after that there is a colon so it is matching till here now whatever numbers are coming here regex i have created separate video 7 to 8 videos you can have a look into that to understand this logic I'll add regex logic also in the description and notification. So we can copy this. And we will try creating a regex pattern here. Ask 
array.compile and raw string and we can put this and now we will do a regex pattern comparison for that put output equal to we will consider this as an integer then inside that the pattern whatever we have created port pattern the above pattern dot and we will do a search on that and the data is the actual data which is port details that is this data now we are doing a regex comparison here and dot group one let us try printing this port output okay yeah now it is able to get the port number you can even comment this now now we are exactly getting one particular device's port number and here if you want to get device 10 port number I just need to change only here if we give 10 here I'll be getting 10 port number now here what we need to do is while creating the device we will try fetching it and we'll add the device ID in a variable here we already have a variable called device ID and this device ID we will try to pass in this particular API to get particular devices currently I have commented that is why it is coming in the as an error now here we will do one more change here now it is asking user to enter number of instances instead of that what we will do we will try creating individual device and instead of total what we will do here we will ask instance name because we are going to handle individual devices configuration from a text file in the next video so for that and here under this name we can give instance name and then we will be getting the instance id ok and now we can comment this one and we will simply give a device name vios 92 and here instead of print we will try to return this output because in the next script we are going to use this function to spin up a device and get the port number then we need to do the further actions like pushing the initial config so we are going to return here the port output and maybe to provision a device what we can do define provision and device name 
and under that anyway this function is going to return us the port number so telnet port we can even use class here i don't want to make it too complex with classes and all so that is why i'm just using functions telnet port create instance and we will pass device name here as well and then we'll do a print here because this function when we call this function create instance that is going to return us the port number and then we will call this provision and v ios 92 so now this is initiating api to evng then spinning up a device using this template and then printing the device id connecting the interface starting the instance every, everywhere we are using device id and then we are getting the telnet port of that particular device okay so it is printing 32780 that is the port number of the device let us connect to that Three two seven eight zero, and we can log into EVNG. and we have a device called vios 92 the name came because we have added it in this format that is why this added additional vios yeah device is booting up now we have to wait for more than one minute to become device up and then we will try configuring the device how to push the initial configuration we'll try handling the entire terminal operations like we will try giving no here then wait for around 20 seconds then wait for another prompt then read a text file and push the configuration all these options we'll see in the next video i hope this video was helpful for you to understand even g api provision a device get the telnet port number for further actions thanks for watching see you in the next video